Road Rage Homicide, Sheboygan North High enters eSports, Wisconsin keeping a close watch on coronavirus. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, January 28th, 2020. With the 2020 U.S. Census approaching, Wisconsin has reached only half of its recruiting goal. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, over 24,000 persons are still needed to fill out applications for statewide census taker positions. Those workers will go door to door in their communities to collect responses from those who do not fill out forms online, by phone, or by mail. Sheboygan County census takers will be paid $19 per hour and also receive reimbursement for work-related mileage and expenses. If you are at least 18 years of age at the time of the census, you can apply at the Sheboygan Job Center tomorrow from 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Sheboygan Mayor Mike Vandersteen spent much of last week attending U.S. Conference of Mayors in Washington, D.C., exchanging ideas and making plans to help make Sheboygan better. The mayor met with legislators working on such subjects as the Wisconsin Lake Michigan Marine Sanctuary and also with members of the president's cabinet, to discuss so-called opportunity zones that will allow capital gains to be invested in the zone tax-free for 10 years. Such investments have already enabled local efforts to move forward. The meeting concluded at the White House with a meeting with the President Trump. Students at Sheboygan North High School will have the chance to match their gaming skills against other schools as eSports has arrived at the varsity and JV levels. The Sheboygan Area School District announces on its website that the two five-member teams began an eight-week division schedule last week as part of Wisconsin High School eSports Association. Mike Jaber, the SASD's coordinator of instructional technology, said the students who might not be into traditional sports, band, or other clubs now have opportunities for scholarships as well as competitions that will decide a state champion on March 21st. Esports is one of the fastest growing sports groups worldwide. Lakeland University recently announced the construction of a new esports arena, joining some 130 other colleges that collectively offer $15 million in scholarships. At the high school level, Warner High School and hosts its own WHSEA team. The Waukesha County Sheriff's Office recently pulled over the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. According to a sheriff's office posted on Facebook, the driver of the giant hot dog on wheels was given a verbal warning for failing to follow Wisconsin's move over law that requires a motorist to move out of the lane closest to a vehicle on the side of the road with the emergency lights flashing, if possible, or to slow down and drive at a reduced speed until completely past the vehicle. The posting did not say where in the county or when the Wienermobile was pulled over. A 23-year-old man is accused of fatally stabbing another person in Lola Saturday in a road rage incident. Tyler Knutson is being held on charges of first-degree intentional homicide, and police were called to a scene around 8 o'clock p.m. on the reports of a man laying on the ground struggling to breathe. A police report says it started as a road rage incident and the car that the 42-year-old victim was a passenger in, a vehicle nearly hit the car Knutson was in police. And police say all parties involved described aggressive driving from both vehicles and both cars eventually pulled into driveways on South Main Street 
and the two men began arguing when Knutson pulled out a knife and stabbed the victim. An autopsy showed the victim died of a stab wound to the neck and his name has not yet been released. And finally, the five cases with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention on and identifying anyone who we should test, said Jean Ayers, the state health officer. We are pleased to say that we have no confirmed cases and one negative. Test results from the other five could take another 20 and fever. During a busy cold season, state health department epidemiologist Tom Hopp says the new coronavirus can be hard to identify. There have been other outbreaks on other coronaviruses, influenza. All it doesn't is And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.